there was some rule changes that came out from uh, Hockey NB in regards to the handshake line, the famous handshake line that everyone's very accustomed to. Usually where you see these after, you know, a Game 7 loss in the NHL playoffs, mm -hmm. um, you know, forever and ever and ever, it has been at the end of the hockey game as a way to say, you know what, sportsmanship aside, great game, great game, great game. Well, NBA, uh, Hockey NB has decided they're going to move that handshake line to the beginning of every game. And I, look, I think it's ridiculous. I don't understand what's taking place right now. I understand there's been some incidents. They're trying to stop this from happening. But it's part of the game. It's been yeah. a part of the game forever. And then all of a sudden, they're going to come on and change this to preventative measures. Look, I, I understand you don't want these incidents to take place. But I think you got to go deeper than the handshake line here, Chris. I mean, because again, when the game's over, that handshake line, it, it's, it's hockey. It's part, of, it's part of the history. It's part of the game. It's part of our respect for each other. And if these incidents are taking place in the lineup, which is what took place, I think you need to go deeper. And let's look at the coaching, okay? Yeah. Let's yeah. talk. If you don't have control of your guys, that's on you. Your job is to keep these guys in check. And if your player is out there in the lineup at the end of the game punching another player in the face during a lot, you have no control. I understand no. emotions run high. I get it. And it's not always going to be the coach's fault. But this has clearly gone on long enough that you, you would change the rule about something so historic in the game. And really one of the sort of the classiest things of, the, you know, of hockey was always, hey, you know, regardless yeah, of what true. happens on the ice, at the end of the game, you're going to shake hands. Hey, it's over. Congratulations. Either way, but uh, whatever happened out here is done. You know, best to you. Best of luck next round if you're going on, or you know. So what's to prevent you? you well? What's to prevent you from shaking the hands at the beginning of the game? You play your whole game. Game's over. Referees, okay. You go to your locker room. You go to your locker room. You go to your locker room. When that team plays that team the next game, exactly. like things are just going to boil over. So and the starting gonna, handshake at the start of the game. Who's not going to punch a guy in the face yeah. before the game even starts? Well, especially at the start of the game, everybody's fired up. Hey, keep your head up. I'm coming after you. You're dead. Okay. Right. right. Like so, there's more chirping going on at the start of the game than uh, than there would be at the end of the game when you say, "Hey, both teams played hard. Uh, you know, congratulations. You know, it's over." Right. I Best get it. We'll see you next time. I understand. Yeah. There's a, uh, emotions are heavy. Emotions are high. I do understand why they did it. Yeah. I don't agree with it. In fact, I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but at the end of the day, my opinion's not going to change that. But I think it's. Foolish. One of the best commercials I ever saw, Chris, was the NHL commercial, the Stanley Cup Finals commercial, and it actually claims, like, it, the whole commercial is based off the handshake, and it basically says, you can't touch the cup until all the hands are shaking. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. It's, the handshake comes first. Well, and like you said, it's, if it's a matter of Foolish. discipline, that's, that's, what, that's what sports is supposed to be there, Ridiculous. to be able to control your emotions. Right? So, yeah, things might get heated. Okay, game's over. Buzzer's gone. Had a drink of water. Skated around my own den for a second. Okay, we're going to do the handshake. You know how you Go prevent that? Way. Guy punches the kid in the face, you suspend him. Yeah. You know what? Uh, suspend just him again every time, increasing, increasing, increasing. They'll get the point originally. But why would shouldn't, you change a rule? It shouldn't just be on the league to suspend the kid too. The coach should suspend them. If not, the coach be suspended with you know, the, the lack of oh. discipline for, right. for an issue happening uh, in, in the And if this the, situation the happens with more than one of your teammates in a situation, yeah. then guess what, Mr. Coach? You're suspended. Yeah. Figure it out. Yeah. Anyways, stupid rule change. And that's okay, we had a couple. You talk about getting your most of the check. Like I'm fired up now. Yeah, like I well, wasn't even ready. Like I'm, I think it's ridiculous. It's crazy. A little bit. I mean, crazy. Yeah, there was there was a couple Donnie Brooks we had back in the day there in, in the handshake, but that was old time hockey sort of deal. Like, uh, you know, it could have happened off the opening face off anyway. It wouldn't have mattered. So, uh, but yeah, I think the handshake at the end of the game I think has a, a part of the game and part of the sportsmanship uh, within the sport. And uh, like I said, that's what it is, man. Controlling your emotions. And uh, part of being the game. classy and uh, part of the game. congratulating your opponent. Respect the game of hockey. Exactly. If you're not teaching your kids respect the game, figure it out.